So let's learn how to solve a system of ODEs by the elimination method. So the problem we consider is, so let's say uh, problem is uh, solve the system, solve the system. So we have x prime equal 6y y prime equal x minus y so you can just put different numbers and they pretty much solve the same way so the answer so how we can do it uh, so what we're going to do and you can see that you cannot just solve one equation separately you can't just solve the first equation because there are two dependent variables you have x and y both and then you can see that the y depend on the second equation of, uh, and then first the x depend on the so the y depend on the second equation x depend on the first equation then so they kind of uh, what we normally call coupled each other so when you have a couple system you can just solve one what we normally do is we remove one variable so that's the goal we remove one variable and try to write um so that's called elimination we're going to eliminate one variable and try to write the equation using only one variable so we can do that in two different ways. Um, we can take the derivative of uh, the first equation or the derivative of the second equation. So, um, so I'm going to call this the first equation one, uh, the second equation two for references. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the derivative, derivative of the second equation. So we're going to differentiate. Uh, so differentiate our equation two. Uh, with respect to the t variable so if you do that you're going to get y double prime equal x prime minus y prime now what you can do is since you need to write this using only one variable we can remove x prime using the first equation so if you do the first equation you can substitute for x prime we know the x prime is 6y so we can write this one as 6y minus y prime now you can see that this whole equation is only in one variable. Now what we're going to do, we can bring all the terms to one side. So that means we can have y double prime. We can re, uh, bring y prime term that means become y prime. 6y become negative 6y. So if you change the term, it only change the sign. Uh, if you bring one side to the other side. And then what we're going to do, how to solve, this is a second, a first, a second order constant coefficient differential equation so when you have constant coefficient differential equations what we what we do is we're going to look at the characteristic equation so let's look at the characteristic equation so the characteristic equation characteristic uh, equation is uh, we can replace the derivatives by lambda so it's a lambda squared plus lambda minus 6 equals 0 this is very easy to find factors. Those factors are lambda plus 3 and lambda minus 3, uh, minus 2. Lambda minus 2 uh, equal to 0. This implies that from the first, uh, first factor, you're going to get negative 3. From the second factor, you get 2. So those are the lambda values. Now what we're going to do, we can add the solution for y. So let's try the solution for y now. So that means, uh, so you can say thus, we have y, which is a function of t. We can have a constant e to the negative 3t, that's the first lambda value, and c to e to the 2t, that's the second lambda value. So that's the solution of y. Now what we're going to do, we're going to use this y to find x. For that, there's an easy way to do it. Uh, you can look at we can use the first equation because that combine x and y so what we can do by equation one by uh, equation one uh, we can say x prime equals six y so that means we can simply substitute here so we can substitute for y so that means it is say, a six c one e to the negative three t plus six c two e to the two t uh, now how to find x we know that if you have a derivative to find x the best thing that we can do is just integrate uh, with respect to t so integrating in 
integrating we're going to have x which is simply the integral of x prime if you integrate the derivative you get the function uh, so we're going to integrate there are two terms so we're going to integrate se them separately so 6 c1 e to the negative 3 t dt that's the first one plus uh, the second one is 6 c2 e to the 2 t dt so those are the uh, two functions one from there one from there good this is very easy to integrate when you have a constant when you integrate what's going to happen you'd simply divide by the constant yeah uh, so that means uh, your solution is simply so you divide by negative 3 if you divide by negative 3 you're going to get negative 2 c1 e to the negative uh, 3t plus you divide by 2 so that means 3 c2 e to the 2t now the question is are we going to add one more constant and you can see that these are first order differential equations first order means you would have one uh, constant when you integrate so there are two equations that mean you need two constants and you can see that we already have two constants in the in the answer because we have c1 and c2 that means we do not need one more constant so we are not going to add another constant this is very important so we don't add uh, uh, so we can say uh, so no additional Are constants. The reason is we already have c1 and c2. We have two equal, two are non. Okay, good. Uh, so now, uh, so that's the solution of x. So we can uh, write the. So we can say therefore we can like complete the problem. So therefore, we can say x t equal uh, negative to c1 e to the negative 3t plus 3 c2 e to the 2t that's x and then y is c1 e to the negative 3t plus c2 e to the 2t and you can see where where c1 and c2 are constants what we normally call arbitrary constants arbitrary constants constants are to be determined by the initial conditions to be determined by the initial conditions to be determined by the initial conditions okay so that's the that's how we solve a system using the elimination method